Okay, guys, what is up? It's I, Jane Poop here, back with another episode of Pikmin 2. And so, in the last video, we have gone through two days in the Valley of Repose, and we discovered the Emergence Cave. And so, in this video, we're going to go on the Awakening Wood, uh, and see if we, there are any caves we can find there that we can access, of course. So, without further ado, let's go ahead to the Awakening Woods. And again, my series here is going to be slightly different to the other Pikmin stuff, but yeah. And we're here. Okay. Oh, whoa! We got 10% of depth recovered. Wow. Okay, I didn't expect that right away. Uh, right, I'm not going to get all of my... I'm just going to get 10 out like it was normal gameplay, but we still got 19 for later. And I'm going to get the rest of my reds out. So, we'll be a bit busy here. Uh, so, I'm going to get them all out, and then... Then I'm going to get Olimar to do the red stuff. Uh, wrong button. And then Louis is going to get the purples. Oh, we have sheer grubs. Well, it's only the female sheer grubs. Luckily, purple Pikmin are easier to use to kill enemies. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, you can literally kill these easily. Yep, they're dead in seconds. By just pounding on them, it's a lot easier than, um... It's a lot easier than, uh, pretty much, um... Uh, just using other Pikmin to get it. Right. Right, I'm going to use both of them right now to get this uh, ball ball right here. You can also change Pikmin. On the Switch, you hold the Pikmin throw button and then press uh, the right trigger. Right, so let's get this ball bob. And there's a chance that with purple Pikmin, you can also stun enemies as well. Uh, I'm going to get five on that. And if Purple Pikmin carry any of those, then that's pretty much fine. Right, I'm going to need a Pikmin too. Okay. I'm just going to get five of them to get me some nectar. So then we can do some plucking. I'll come back for them, because I need to get those as well. We have these... Oh! We've reached the limit of 100 Pikmin on the field. Olimar, we have a problem. The onion has seizing, ejecting seeds. It, is it malfunctioning? No, it's not. Interesting. It now seems the number of life forms within the other has increased. Didn't you note that no more than 100 Pikmin in the event are on this planet at once? But I currently only observe 95 on the surface. Could there be a wild Pikmin somewhere? Well, I think there is. So yeah, right now we can only have 95. Notice those plants there. We'll look at them in a moment. Oh, we got Honey Wisp. And I was going to get the Honey Wisp, but then I got interrupted by the cutscene. We got a strawberry for Mr. President. 170 Pokos. It's the Sunseed Berry. Which I always, as a kid, said it as Sunset Berry. But it's actually Sunseed Berry. I didn't realise there were two E's. Oh, missed. I can't reach it. Wait, Louie? Really? You got up? Uh, no, don't whistle them. All right, get back on there. Right, then Olimar is going to. In fact, uh, I need Louie with me as well. <laughs> Just do that. <laughs> Whistle and then change back. Right. I'm not going to get the nectar yet because obviously we need these Pikmin first. It's best if we have two captains because it's faster to pluck with two. Right. I need to make sure these Pikmin don't. Oh no, that got it. But at least we get the cutscene. That the Pikmin's flowered. 
The Pikmin dragged the yellow nectar instantly um, um, and made it into a flower Pikmin. It appears to have enhanced motor skills. What a wonderful nectar. How intriguing. Okay, I know. And we found another female sheer grub for the reds to uh, for the reds to get. Oh, and there's more pellet posies here as well. Need to get them. Luckily, killing sheer grubs is easier. Even the male sheer grubs are a lot easier to kill now because you don't have to worry about. Um, you no longer have to worry about um, uh, the Pikmin getting killed while. You're killing them, so... Uh, have they done that yet? No, they're still going. they only got one more to do. Right, you know what? Oh, okay. They've done already, right. Right, I'll come back for those Pikmin. Right. I need all the more to get the reds. The Louie is going to get the purples. Uh, No, no, wrong button. I'm get. Oh my god, right. It doesn't matter, right. Here, we have another new enemy. We have the Cloaking Boronet. And uh, these can easily be killed. Um, and then, we should have another enemy nearby. Right here, you might think it's just a normal plan. But wait. It's a creepy chrysanthemum, that is. And... Um, And there's a chance that we could stun it, uh, except we're not stunning it. Oh, but we killed it, though. That's good. We, it's good that we killed it. Okay. Okay. If we had enough uh, purples, we could get that down. But not yet. Right. No, you go away. And am I missing a purple? Oh, oh, I see the purple right up there. Okay, okay, okay. Right, only more. You need to get these. Um... Right, and then I need you guys to get this as well. So we're getting more reds. And then hopefully on the half day we can find our first cave. Um... Oh, there we go. Got it. But again, don't get it yet. Uh, we just want these reds first. Right, right, Louis. He's gonna get... Now, this treasure, you normally need yellow Pikmin to get this, and you get them later. But, there's a glitch you can do with purples. Uh, unless it don't work anymore, I don't know. Unless it's been fixed in this version, I don't know. If it's been fixed, then... But it's possible to get a purple up there in the GameCube version, and then... And pretty much use the purple to get it. I, I think it's been patched uh, in this version, so... I can't bother to, to do that, but... Alright. Right, we're gonna need... another purple, so... Wait, we need to get uh, one red away. Okay, so then we can bring that down. I'll get uh, the Pikmin to do the nectar stuff in a moment. Alright, get this purple. And then, then all these Pikmin can go on. So then they can push that down, ready. Oh, what? We need more purples. You've got to be joking me. Oh, this is clearly designed with more purples in mind. Oh, God. Wasting my time here. Don't get that nectar! Okay. In that case, we... 
We'll get four more out. Alright, there we go. Okay. There we go. So then we'll have 15 purples, okay. We're like almost at the end of the day. So we might have to spend two days in Awakening Wood, but we'll see, we'll see. I just want to get that down, and then we'll enter our first cave. Well, we'll get these nectared first. Da -da. So then that's out of the way. There we go! There we go, that's out of the way. There's a cave there, but we're not going to go to that one yet. Uh, this way. In fact, but, but first I want these nectared. Try and do that again. No, I don't think it's possible in this version anymore. Uh, but in the GameCube version, you could glitch the purple Pikmin to get up there themselves. And then just use them. Okay, we've got a lot nectar there. I want to get more of them nectar though. Uh, there's these things there, but I'll have to deal with them uh, later. So... Okay, it's it's like almost quarter quarter today. Okay, still not all of them, but perfect enough. Most of them. Okay, that's good. In fact, in fact, while we're here, we'll just take away. We'll take away. Um, we'll just have ten and make it so it's like um, um, we're normally playing. So then, just these reds. Okay. Hopefully we can get those two caves done today. And if we still don't get everything done, then at least we can um, uh, do uh, other things. Like getting set up. You can see that gate there, but there's poison over it, so we can't do that one yet. Alright, let's go here to this cave. Do, 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 do. By the consensus, I am reacting violently. The readings are ominous. A beast of unknown power lurks in these depths. A large Pikmin group would be reassuring. My sound senses are picking up our style in many beasts except dangerous encounters. Sensors are also showing extreme heat buckets. You may need flame resistant Pikmin, that's the reds. But my records indicate that no such data. All my records incomplete. Uh, I don't know. And now we go to the Hole of Beasts, with all of our Pikmin. Saving's a lot quicker now. Probably is when you're on an emulator as well, but on GameCube and Wii it takes forever. Because it's on a memory card. On your GameCube and then with Wii Play Control it's on your Wii memory, but whatever. So, here's our, well, not our first cave, but, but here, and I'm going to switch to Olimar, because Olimar is awesome. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to change the cameras like this. Now, the interesting thing about these caves is that um, these caves are pretty much um, random, so meaning... We may get enemies in different places um, if we reload a save file. Oh, now we've got the male shear grubs. But again, the male shear, gr shear grubs are easy. Okay. See, there's one treasure here. That looks familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like it's a D-pad from the NES controller. And, many, and, and, and I guess the Super Nintendo controller as well, but... Now it's best to have a captain behind, and then another captain sort the Pikmin out. Uh, so then it makes things a lot faster. I think this is the only treasure on this sub-level. We got a D-pad for Mr. President to press for no reason. The Stone of Glory. It's not really a stone though, is it? Yeah, that's all. You can tell by the... That means no more treasure in the area. Let's just skip the cutscene. 
Um, stop level two. Let's see what's here. Um, now, the colours are slightly off, but... Alright, I'll take that. Oh, I think this is an example of a rest area, because I don't think there's any treasure here at all. Right, we want purple Pikmins on these eggs, because... There is a small chance that we can get an enemy. That if we kill a lot of them, then wow. Uh, but most of the time you get nectar. Uh, sometimes you get, like, different kind of nectar as well. Which we won't talk about until later. Uh, but... Okay, no more Pikmin need to be flowered. I don't think. No. Every Pikmin's flowered. Is there any treasure? I don't know if there's any treasure here or not. Because sometimes you can also get eggs dropped from the sky. Or even enemies dropped from the sky. It's random in every cave. Um... Uh, I think it's, it's more likely to happen in later caves, though, so... I don't think there's any treasure here. I think there's... Yeah, some sub-levels are pretty much rest areas. Um, so you have a chance to... You have a chance to sort your Pikmin out and all that, so... That's always good news. <laughs> that is a weird pose. So there's no treasure in that sub-level. But then, in sub-level 3... Just woo! And then it's fire. Now, unlike Pikmin 1, where the geysers uh, are just uh, things to go past, this time you can actually destroy them. So, yeah, you can actually kill geysers in this game. Well, I'm not going to kill that geyser. Okay, and then boom. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, and then there's something else that's some nostalgia for those in Japan. Um, after destroying the guys, and then we get interrupted by a cutscene. We've got a domino for the president. 150 pokos. It's the Strife Monolith. Or if that, I don't know if that's how you say it, but right. Oh my god, it's a Famicom disc for the Famicom disc system. I wonder what game is that? Uh, what game is that? I don't know. That's side A. Uh, I assume it's the... I think it's the Mysterious Murasame Castle. I think that I think that game is on the... I don't know. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think it's the... We got the mysterious Murasari Castle for Mr. President. Uh, there's no way to view the other side, so it, I can't really confirm it. The Cosmic Archive. 230 Pocos. I do expect that to be too much, because obviously... Famicom games. Well... Well, disc games were cheaper back then than Famicom cartridges, but... But nowadays, they're mostly expensive. Especially if you get the right games on it, because they were rewritable with the disc writers. So, meaning you think you're getting a game you want, but you find out it's something different. Um, because they've been constantly rewritten, but the labels weren't changed, so... I don't know if you can change labels, but well, probably can, but I mean... Still, uh, let's, um... Okay, alright. Save that for the moment. Oh, we got a Bulbob over there. Oh, boy. Right. Time for the purple Pikmin to pound on your bum bum! Oh, boy. Oh, and he gave us a Game & Watch. Oh, my God. There we go. There we go. We've got a Game & Watch. We got Game & Watch Ball for the President. 280 Pocos. It's the Dream Architect. Oh, 1959 total. Wow. What's it going to change to? 
1966. That is a lot of years ago. Oh my god. Um, right and then. Uh, okay. Oh, we got um. We got candy pop body here, and this Nintendo card. Let's, I'm gonna uh, get that out. We got this. This Nintendo card resembles Nintendo's past, uh, believe it or not. Oh no 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 no! So I wanted to change the Olimar because I prefer Olimar's version of the music. Okay. So this Nintendo card, believe it or not, resembles Nintendo's past, as I mentioned. So. We got a Nintendo card for Mr. President, 140 Poco, so it's the luck wafer. <laughs> it doesn't even look like a wafer. Yeah, this was back when Nintendo was actually a card company. They didn't make, vi because video games didn't exist in like the, uh, like before the 1970s, uh, or, or was it the late 1960s when video games existed? Not, I, I can't remember. I know they were in the 70s, but they weren't as good as the ones in the 80s, but I mean, still. But um, this was when Nintendo was a card company, so they made card games instead of uh, uh, video games like they do nowadays, um, and they still do today. But, but yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, that's just nectar. There's nothing there. Where's the cave? Where's the cave hole? There it is. There's nothing there. I like how the Pikmin sing as well. It's kind of cool how they do that. Delve your Pikmin deeper? Yes, we should. <sighs> and then sub level 5. A whole of beasts again. Right, it's the final floor, or final level, as they call in the Wii and Switch version. We have this thing. Uh, it's sleeping. Well, why don't we just get our purples on it? And it's awake, and we meet the Empress Bullblax. Pretty much the Empress Bullblax's wife. <laughs> Ain't she pretty? No, not really. Okay. And then she'll start rolling around on the floor. They see her rolling. She hates it. She wants to squash all of my Pikmin. Yeah, let's give you a beard. <laughs> oh god! Well, now your health bar's yellow. It's just like me when I was in bed as a kid. <laughs> okay. When <laughs> you just roll in the bed. Come on. Oh, nearly there, dude! Oh, it's close! <laughs> and he, she should be dead. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And we got that. It's a love tester. Or was it Tesla Love? I don't know. Help us out! This device seems to me as black light. It must have been ingested by the creature. Uh, what an absolute presumptive platform. I'll return so I can take a lot of scene coming off. Alright. Well, that's why we want to um, drag it. The Empress Ball Blacks is <laughs> worth quite a few, actually. Um. We have these glow things as well. And then we get this. Wow! The love tester. This is another thing that Nintendo made. 200 Pocos, the prototype detector. This contraption seems to be a reactor when it approaches treasures. I will connect it to my radar. Uh, for assessing complete, the treasure gauge is now fully operational. It will now appear on your monitor. The needle uh, will move right as you approach treasure. So what this is talking about is this down here. And then that shuts down when there's no treasure. 
But this makes it a lot easier to find treasure. So meaning, we can find treasure easily. And no Pikmin died? Wow! We've not had any Pikmin deaths yet. I'm surprised. Okay, let's save the goddamn game. The game has been saved. It has indeed. <sighs> Back to the awakening word. La 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 la. Then, 20% of the depth recovered. Okay, right. Now it's time to go to the other cave. Oh, we're gonna kill these first. I think the enemies always come back, or some enemies come back. Right, we'll sort these out later again. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we're able to, we're, able, we're able to get that now, unless we are. But it has to be from here. I forgot. Oh, it seems possible, but but I guess I could try again later. If not, then I'll have to get it the intended way. Okay, cloak and borrow it. Die. And then let's go here. <laughs> you see the enemy's death happening in the background. Aston, astounding! My metal detectors are researching violently what could be down there below. If you find trouble below, press plus and connect me to the right on uh, yeah, the radar screen. Yes, I know. So let's go to the White Flower Garden. There's fire and poison there. How are we going to handle poison, you may ask? Well, we find out when we go down to the cave. This looks nothing like a garden. This looks metal. Well, um... Okay. Okay, we got sheer grubs first off. And they all died! Yay! The number of Pikmin don't show up on top because only one Pikmin can carry these strictly now. You can't have uh, two Pikmin carry these anymore, just like in Pikmin 1. Okay. Here okay, we got these. Oh god! Oh, tons of sheer grubs. Okay, and then there's one of the treasures. And yeah, that looks a lot different now. Because I think this used to be, um... Uh, I don't know what it used to be. I can't remember, but... Still. It's definitely a different colour. Is there anything over here? No. Okay. But yeah, it looks like some shoe polish. We got some shoe polish for the president's feet. <laughs> okay. Alien billboard. This is called it. It's only worth 80 pokos. I thought it was worth more than that. Whatever. I think, even though all the treasures are different, I think they're based on the American version because because I remember the European and Japanese versions had complete had a completely different treasure design in this area. And then the American version had that design. Obviously, it looks different here, and it's not like the original, but but the shape of it is the same. So I think the Switch version is similar to the American version, but they just changed. Uh, but the, but obviously they just changed. So I think the amount of Pocos you get for different treasures are also different. So so I think all the treasure. So the the total amount of treasure worth of Pocos is the same as the American version. I think. I don't know. Uh, I might be wrong there. It might it might be a mixture. I don't know. But anyways, there's a fiery blowhog that needs to be murdered, and you can see it's stunned because you can tell by the effects. We've got a jewel there as well. And then grab that. There we go. Thirty three. Even though it's just a couple of purples, and there's something else over here. There's also a different design. Okay, so we got this uh, jewel heart. 
We got a dual heart for Mr. President. As 100 poke goes, it's the petrified heart. Okay. We have a coconut water bowl lid for the president. For no reason, a drought ender. 100 pokos. I think, I think in, I think in the American and European versions, that was a Dr. Pepper lid, I think. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that was in the Japanese version as well, or if it was something completely different, but, still, but, it, it, but in the American and European versions, at least, it was a Dr. Pepper lid, <laughs> which is interesting. Right here, this is where we find, um, another new type of Pikmin, you can tell by the candy pop ones down there. Let's go down there. We found more candy pop buds. How oh, can a flower follow deep underground bloom so robustly? How oh, mysterious. Uh, this place is covered so warm. Uh, could it act as a kind of hotness? What an interesting development. The Pikmin. The... Oh, God. We're just going to throw reds in these. Now, time to pluck these! That is disgusting! But it's a white Pikmin! Incredible! A white Pikmin! It is tiny, but it looks distinctly swift. Its eyes are unseemly red. Its type of Pikmin was not mentioned in your notes, Olimar. It must be an entirely new type. Yes, it is. I reckon that yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, white Pikmin. They're the only other new Pikmin in this game. Uh, the other Pikmins that are that we need to get in this adventure are just the yellows and blues, but they were in the previous game as well, so. There we go, yeah. There we go. So we got all whites. Now, white Pikmin. White Pikmin are interesting because they're immune to poison, but they're also very fast. So, uh, and when they get eaten by enemies, they can kill those enemies. Uh, so the enemies can get killed while they're being eaten. So, so it not only kills the Pikmin, but it kills the, um, the enemy as well, which is, uh, interesting. And around here, the white Pikmin are digging treasure. And the purples are like, ooh, what is that? Ooh. Amazing! The white pigmen have unearthed a treasure that was completely buried in the ground. Perhaps the the birdie eyes allows them to sense. Yes, it does. So, if there's any underground treasure, we'll need the white pigmen to bring it. So, yeah, that's another great thing about white pigmen, indeed. Now, let's follow them. Follow the treasure, Louis! <laughs> I like its whistle sound, it's so cool. Uh, come on, follow me! Right, yeah. Oh, they're all together. We got some tape for the president to do some uh, kidnapping with. <laughs> okay. Super stick textile. And it's 80 pokos just for gamma tape. There's no more treasure here. But yes, now we've got white Pikmin. So the white Pikmin are the ones that are immune to poison. So when we get to the poison stuff, we use the white Pikmin for them. So, yeah. You can tell because it burps poison out as well, so meaning they are poison Pikmin, pretty much. Um, so we got poison here. Normally, uh, the, I guess I'll show it off. Uh, but if I throw a red here, you can tell 
Yeah. Oh, it's floating in the air a bit, and it's stuck in the wall. It's a rock and a hard place. Emergency! Make me nice and blow them with your whistle! I know. Yeah. At least we got a cutscene. But yes, you use the white to get rid of poison stuff. That's, this also means that white Pikmin will always, if they're flowered, they'll always be in the lead with you if you run very fast. Uh, so, yeah. Because white Pikmin are very fast as well, so that's another great part. We've got two items there, which I can tell are similar to the American version ones, but obviously they've been different design, obviously. I'm not going to destroy that. There is a cool glitch you can do as well. Uh, so before the Pikmin die from the poison, or pretty much, uh, this works with fire as well. Um, before they're about to die, you exit the ca the cave sub-level. And then in the cutscene, they'll still have fire on them. Uh, they won't actually die, but, but the counter for when you finish the cave would would think that you have Pikmin died when really you haven't so uh, so that's the only downside to it is that the game thinks you've killed some Pikmin when you haven't so so I don't know if I'll do that one day or not but uh, it is quite a funny trick Okay, there we go. Get the mushroom out. We can dig all the mushroom. Okay. We got some lipstick for the president to be a girl. Okay, the survival ointment, and it's 90 pokos. I think in the American version, this was a chapstick. But it's not anymore. I don't think this was in the European version at all, so... And we got a fungus mushroom. We got the mushroom for the president to grow. <laughs> All right. Toxic toastal. And it's only worth 30 pokos. I expect it because it could be poisonous. Um, the cave's there, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's just a go in. Yeah, they're doing it there, but <laughs> they're going through the poison and they're not even dying. But none of our Pikmin's died, I don't think. They actually have to, like, about to die be uh, before doing the trick. We've not lost any, have we? Right, we're in the final floor. Yeah, we've still got 95. Okay, that's that's good. Okay. This is where it gets interesting. We're going to need some whites. I'm going to use... Right. I need Olimar to protect the purples. I don't want any... I don't really want much purple deaths because of later in the game. Uh, because there's one item that we'll strictly need purples for. Right here. Go here. We have the Burrowing Snagret! And there's a chance that he could eat some Pikmin. Oh, and we killed him. He only killed uh, three reds. That's okay. Oh, and now we can carry his decapitated head. <laughs> and the Pikmin are like, la 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 la. <laughs> They're like, well done, Captain Olimar. That don't you defeated that freak, yeah, that freakish half bird, half serpent hybrid. <laughs> oh no! Don't tell me that treasure was ingested by that beast, wasn't it? It was indeed. I don't know how it was able to fit in him, though. Oh my god, it's huge. Uh, Pikmin! S -s -s Stop fiddling with that, okay. Right, it doesn't matter. We only lost a few Pikmin, that's fine. Right, only more. What you need to. Right, I I'm gonna wait for the cutscene to finish because I know that a cutscene's gonna happen. I know that cutscene's gonna happen. Tempo cause. <laughs> We have a glove for the president's hand! Uh, 100 pokos, the five-man knapsack. 
Material looks uncomfortable. I will use it uh, to patch the boss's favorite sleeping bag. So, scene test uh, conclusive. Uh, cross stitching successful. The knapsack is complete. When you have uh, an unoccupied time reserve, uh, press R to take a nap. It's not really useful though, because it's literally just this. So you press the R button, and then this happens. The Pikmin will take you here, and then you just wake up. It's not really useful. Um, it's just some fun stuff you can do. Um, right, right. Let's get these eggs. Okay. Uh, there's just all nectar. Are any of these leaves? No, none of them are leaves. Okay. That's fine. Let's go. We've only lost a uh, free Pikmin, so that's fine. I expect it to happen with the boring snap group because they're so hard. The purple Pikmin just got left behind. Yeah, you can see free Pikmin deaths. The cave is complete. Save the goddamn game. The game has been saved, indeed. The awakening wood. Let's just skip this. Okay. Right. Um. Now we've not got a lot. We've not got a lot of time left today, so. Uh. We're gonna need the whites. So, um. Yeah, the purples are going to struggle getting that other item. We could try that tomorrow. But we're going to get all whites to... Um, then I'll get the rest of the reds. We're going to get the whites to destroy one of the gates. The, the most important one. So then... So then... Uh, no, no, no. Get away from the pellet posy. There we go. Right, Louie, you're going to get the whites. There we go. We've got 15 of them. Oops. Uh, I'm going to make these whites go and try and destroy a gate. Uh, it's because we, because that's all the caves we can go for now in the Awakening Wood. Uh, can't go in the other two caves here yet. So we're going to make them try and destroy that. We're going to make the reds do this. Which is... Uh, this thing right here. So it's destroying these. And then taking them back. And we want this one as well. We want ten of these. So then we can get something very useful. Okay. We're going to hurry up. So I guess we'll just get one of those done. We got a... Ball for the president, for n whatever reason. Astonishing, this red berry contains an ultra spicy essence. It, it does not appear to have any monetary value, but I shall research potential uses for it. Bring me more specimens. So, yeah, we need ten of those. So, five of them there. And then that'll do, just no more. For now, we'll just, uh, we'll just get more reds. Uh, because we're not going to have time to bring one of the important treasures that we need, so... Uh, which we desperately need. And there it is! Captain Onimama, research of the red berries you discovered had yielded a powerful potion. Uh, behold the ultra spicy spray! Although it, uh, it is untested, I believe uh, it, it will... It's like the results. Spray it on all of your Pikmin. But I'm not going to do that yet. What this does, this makes your Pikmin more powerful, even the whites. Uh, so, yeah, there's our counter there. So, uh, Okay, so... Okay, alright. We'll just make more Pikmin born. Yeah, we'll nectar some Pikmin up. Okay, we've got all of them. Right, I need to see how well they're doing the gate. It's only halfway done. But that's fine, because we've got time tomorrow. Oh, they're nearly done! 
Okay. Okay, but we got a lot of things done today. That's a good thing. White Pikmin have been unlocked, so we can go back to space! <laughs> like, normally I would get a lot more done in the Awakening Wood, but apparently not this time. Okay. <sighs> What's today's report like? We've got tons. 1913, that's of years ago. Oh my god. If I was born that year, I would be dead now. Okay. And then for the deaths, um... We only lost three to battle. That's just for the burrowing snagra. What's the president going to say to us? How's progress, Olimar? Remember, you will never get anything done if you sit back and watch from afar. Press ZR for a close-up view of the action. Okay, I know. Okay, so yeah, that so normally we would unlock a new area now, but uh, not now. So, without further ado, we're going to end things off here, guys. So next time on Pikmin 2, we'll go back to the Awakening Woods, and we might go to the other area as well when we unlock that, and see if we can uh, find more treasure and hopefully get more spicy sprays. So I should see you guys next time. It's a tie jump about. See you guys next time. Bye!